Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Welcome back. Oh, I apologize. You're going to hear something on the screen. <laughs> I don't even know anymore. It's crazy. So you're going to hear background noise because there is a um, party in the neighborhood. I can't make this up. You'll hear the screaming. You'll hear the kids. You'll hear the adults. you hear all that. So um, that may be your sign. I did put some information in the tab about the party tonight. So, um... Just saying. Um, anyway, my name is V. Welcome to the channel. Um, if you're new here, welcome. You were divinely guided by Holy Spirit to obtain some information that you need to fit a little piece of the puzzle um, to put it together. Something you may need. One piece, you may need the whole piece. And you may need the whole pie. Maybe a little bit of pie. Maybe need crust. I don't know. So you may need something. So Holy Spirit guided you here. So anyway, um, so welcome. If you're new here, um, to my old teeth, give me my hug. Old teeth. Ooh, oh, anyway, give me a hug. Ooh. Let's get into it. So I don't know if I'm going to put out another video today. It's getting bright already. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to put out another video today. It's probably God telling me yes, probably so, because it's getting brighter um, and brighter. He does that. So anyway, I'm not sure. So he's literally talking to me about it, and he just dropped this on me. I wasn't planning on doing anything. I'm already late for work. It is what it is. Daddy comes first. Um, you know, so this one, I don't have a title yet. This is a vision. This was over so a week and a half. It's coming to Fast and Furious. I don't know, guys, I don't even have time to write it down. So, um, and then he just tied in the scripture to it as well right now, right before I made this video, which was interesting. So I'm going to get into it. It's all over the place. So it's basically not conjoined. I have, don't have anything written down. He's done that a lot lately um, at all. I'm going to try to remember the vision to the best of my ability. And I just, I did see one other prophet talk about it um, too, but I saw it from a different perspective because, you know, we, um, we know in part, so we prophesy in part. So um, let me get the scripture up here. I'm going to put it to the side here just so I have it. And um, can't make this up. You may see a moth. I saw the biggest moth last night in my life. The thing was this big in my front door. And then there was another moth right before here. Y'all can look at the spiritual meaning of that. You know, so um, it's just crazy, interesting signs. So anyway, um, this was at least a week and a half ago that I saw this. Um, and heard this in the spiritual realm. And then a little bit more came last night too in reference to it, but it's also double for that too. So, and I, and I smelled that. I'll put it that way. I'll get into that a little bit later on. So, um, like I said, there's nothing written. So it's just flowing here. So I had a vision and in the vision, everything that I saw was dark. I was looking at what appeared to be solid darkness, but I could sense that something was there and it was important. And the Holy Spirit wanted me to pay attention to it. And I did. I tuned in. And when I did, um, all of a sudden I heard like a huge rattling. Um, it's like, it was a rattling of like, um, a cage. It was like a a huge cage being rattled violently, um, to the point that it was it was even uh, interrupting the ground, and it was just rattling violently. And I could hear. Oh, I heard that. Thank you, Holy Spirit. <laughs> ah, he's coming through. Come through, Daddy. Come through. Come through. And I forgot I did hear that. So, um, and I. I heard um, the rattling so loud and I'm like, whoa, what is going on? It was violently shaking the ground, right? So, um, and all of a sudden I heard, that's all I heard, but it was a very loud roar. It was a loud roar. And then all of a sudden it did it did the rattling again. Like it was and I'm like, what the heck? <laughs> and it's again violent rattling. And I'm like, whoa, dad, what is this? Right? 
I couldn't see anything at this point. It's all black. Like it's all black. All this is happening in the dark. It's all black. And I knew it was a presence in there. I didn't know what the presence was, but I knew the presence had a roar to it. Right. And I'm like, oh, gosh. And then as soon as I could get my senses together and the rattling would stop, it was like an earthquake rattling of the ground of everything that it touched. I would rattle again. It would just crash, 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 crash. like this thing was violently trying to get out. Violently trying to get out. And um, I could hear it moving. Right. And I'm tuning in, you know, because tuning in and I could hear it moving and it was like pacing back and forth like ready like a boxer ready for the round and it was pacing and it was pacing back and forth and it was pacing back and forth and I'm like what is this right and I tune in more and I sensed it was symbolic of God's spirit and it was like I sensed its frustration I sensed its readiness I sensed it was ready to go. It was ready to take off. Like it was like past due. It was like this, we passed due on this time. Let me out. And it was like, I was hearing the line say, let me out now. Let me out today. The line was ready. Right. And, um, but it was in all dark. I did not see it in the light yet. I'm going to put it that way. So it was in, it was all in the dark. And it was just like, this was the, this was the king of the jungle clearly this was clearly the king of the jungle the lion of the tribe of judah holy spirit god spirit a thousand percent it was clearly it and it was just like let me out let me out now it was it was ready it was hungry it was like you know it was like i'm ready it was ready so and i'm like lord what in the world right so i sat with it and i'm like what is that? And then I heard, I saw another video afterwards that was talking about, oh, okay. You know, and um, I might link that video down here too. I got to go find it if I have time today. Like I said, links, I may not be able to get, um, may not be able to get all the links, but I think that was, um, I don't know the name of her. I'll link it down here. I don't know the name of her church. So I want to be um, respectful. I don't know the name of her church. Um, so, and I'll link it. I'll try to link it down here. It'll be between today and Monday. So, and I'm like, whoa, okay. So then as I'm sitting here today, God's like, put it out now as you know, and I was literally on my way to work. I am. And, um, he goes and he's showing me it's, it's kind of like, y'all know he uses me as a double entendre. It's kind of like two parts to this. And I'm like, Lord, what are you? So this is like a two part. It's, it's a double entendre again. So the first part they showed me, um, I'm not putting out right now. I'll probably put out later again. He may, because y'all said a son. I got to do what they said. Um, you know, because I'm butt whooping. It's vicious. And I'm not trying to get none. Um, so he starts talking to me about C, C, C. And that may be one of them. That's, the, that's what he's talking to me about. But he goes, Jesus heals blind Bartimaeus. And you'll find this account in Mark 18, 35 through 43. So I'm going to try to read it. If I can read today, y'all, I'm going to try to read this right now. So um, it starts in, make sure I got the right one. Yeah. So is this the right? No, sorry. That's wrong. Pull of Bethesda. And it's John 5, 1 through 4. Okay. And, um, so pull up with that, that it's John five, one through, sorry, John one, see, I told you John five, one through 14. And this is the story of the invalid that was healed. Okay. So, um, so Bethesda, he said, look up Bethesda. And I said, what is Bethesda? You know, dad, he said, look it up. So Bethesda means mercy. Okay. And then invalid he said, look invalid up. So I'm like, well, yeah, because I was like, what does he have exactly? You know, so he said invalid. Invalid means preventing him from rapid movement. Only God. So I'm going to start reading it here. So John 5, 1 through 14, y'all. Sometime later, there was a feast of the Jews and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now there was in there. Now there is in Jerusalem near the sheep gate, a pool with five colored five covered colonnades, which in Hebrew is called Bethesda. These walkways lay a great number of the sick, the blind, the lame, and the paralyzed. 
And then it goes on to say, one man there had been invalid for 38 years. Pay attention to that. When Jesus saw him lying there and realized that he had spent a long time in this condition, he asked him, do you want to get well? Very, you know, straightforward question. And there's a bouncy house too and all that kind of stuff. So do you want to get well? So, um, you know, do you want to get well? So the gentleman replies, the invalid, he says, sir, um, I have no one to help me into the pool when the water is stirred. Now understand this. In this account, there are angels that came at a set time. I think it was every year, so many, so many years, and they would stir the waters up. Okay. So that was the prime time for the miracle to happen. So he said, while I'm on my way, someone else gets in before me. Pay attention. And then Jesus told him, get up, pick your mat up and walk. And you know, I did not get it until today that he never got in the pool that day. He went to go do one thing, but was healed in the way. So the direction he thought he was going to go to get his healing was not the direction he actually went to get his healing. Pay attention here. Immediately, the man was made well and he picked up his mat and began to walk. Okay. So he had a plan that was laid out to get in this pool. Jesus intersects him and heals him a different way. Come through, Holy Spirit, come through. Now, it says, immediately the man was made well and he picked up his mat and began to walk, okay? Now, this happened on the Sabbath day. So the Jews said to the man who had been healed, now see, thank you, Holy Spirit, come through. He said, notice, the Pharisees were paying attention to what Jesus was doing on the Sabbath day under watch. This is the Sabbath, they said. It is unlawful for you to carry your mat. They didn't care that he was healed. They said it was unlawful for you to carry your mat because they wanted him to remain a doormat in front of the, the place. And as a matter of fact, the Holy Spirit said some of them had something to do with him being an invalid. So anyway, help me, Holy Spirit. So the invalid at that point had a choice. Now listen to this. Jesus or the Pharisees. Okay, I'm also going to link this down here too. Um, I put it in the community tab, which is about um, being free from the bondage of man. Okay, I'm going to type this so I remember um, to do it. So he had to choose. Was he going to be bound to man and law or was he going to listen to it? The, the, the quote of my, thank you, Holy Spirit, come through to the instructions of the Holy Spirit. So, but he answered, the man who made me well told me that man, because he didn't know his name. Pick up your mat and walk. Listen here. The challenge was established. The Pharisees then said, who is this man who told you to pick it up and walk? They asked. Because they wanted to find out who was literally challenging established law and bondage to men. Okay, so. And their titles is what God said to say. So listen to this clean getaway. Jesus, this is his clean getaway because they didn't know you, you don't want no smoke with Jesus. Please believe. Um, but the man who was healed did not know who it was for Jesus had slipped away in the crowd. So it slipped away while the crowd was there. I, I heard smooth criminal by Michael Jackson. I can't even, I can't even make this up. Smooth criminal. I'm sorry. So it is what it is. So Jesus has slipped away. So he said to say this. Jesus knew where the man was and knew his name and knew where to intersect him at. But the man didn't even know his name, but got healed. Keep going. You got your coordinates. Afterwards, 
Jesus found the man at the temple. He knew exactly where he was going. Same day. <laughs> and said to him, see, you have been made well. Stop sinning or something worse may happen to you. Okay. And the man went away and told the Jews that it was Jesus had made him well. Only at that point did he know his name. Excuse me. Only at that point did he know his name. But what God was highlighting this with the vision was this. He was saying that an invalid is someone that has been prevented from rapid movement. Help me, Holy Spirit. <laughs> oh, just like the lion in the cage. Okay. So it is thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So I'm only going to leave. That's all I have permission to leave here today. And to give this permission, say with the Holy Spirit, he's going to give you additional pieces of nuggets and information that you need to succinctly dine on the feast that you are going to get. So it was the job of the Pharisees and the pool of Bethesda at the pool of Bethesda to prevent the rapid movement. I'm just tying it all together. It is the Holy Spirit's job because he took a shortcut. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Come through. Cut him off and took a shortcut. I can't even get in. You got to hear that in the spiritual realm. Cut him off and took a shortcut. That allowed the rapid movement of his spirit to go forth freely. to So the healing and the deliverance can take place. That's it, y'all. I hope you have a beyond blessed day. I'll talk to you later. See you next time.